Galliano Island is, it wouldn't be the same community um, without the ferries. If there is no ferry, the density will be much less than that we have today. They practically rule every aspect of our lives. The ferries are pretty well like a highway would be anywhere else. It is the way that we connect with the outside world. Any island that has a regular ferry service um, is we incorporate that regular ferry service into our social lives, into our economical lives, into everything. For me, it's a source of employment, but I also live on an island, and it's uh, my family and I are dependent on the ferries to bring in supplies. I live with the ferry almost, so, so without the ferry, maybe I will be not here. I run a business which I couldn't imagine without the BC Ferries. The ferry service over the last 25 years seems to have remained fairly consistent. The ferry service hasn't changed a great deal, but the positive thing is that is exactly that. They don't produce uh, a better service than before, and some of them I think is worse service than before. What has changed is the cost of ferries um, has gone up dramatically, but I guess everything else has gone up dramatically. So, so I'm not sure whether it's gone up faster than inflation. One thing that's better now is you can get direct ferries to Victoria. In the old days, we had to go to Saturna Island, which meant it was a three hour ferry ride. Now it's only an hour and 10 minutes. When I was growing up over here, that was in the 30s and 40s. There was a ferry from Vancouver three times a week. The population has gone up. We have more people traveling. So we have more sailings per day going between here and Vancouver Island than we did 13 years ago. BC Ferries is planning to close their ferry terminal for three weeks. From the 18th to the 10th of March, we're going to do without a ferry. I have no idea whether they're going to provide any kind of alternative service. There still will be water taxi transportation for people who need to get off the island. They haven't done a great job in letting islanders know, particularly islanders that are big users like myself. That's why we've got these notices out now so that people can, you know, organize what they're going to do. I think I'll stock up and I'll just stay home for three weeks and I think a lot of people will do that. And people who have boats, they can just boat over to Sydney. Unfortunately for a business like myself, we plan a year in advance and uh, it's hard to make those kind of arrangements when we don't really know what's going on. Upgrading the dock is something you got to do. We love on an island. This is a choice I've made. We've all made that choice to live on an island. Do they have to close the terminals once in a while? Yes, they do. It would be nice if the ferries didn't kick up the big wake that they kicked up, um, which causes a lot of erosion. But all in all, I think that having ferries is probably the most environmentally sensitive way we could have of solving transportation problems. Do we want a bridge? No. If we build a bridge we'll be piling, pouring a huge quantity of money into one facility and then with one natural disaster it could all be wiped out and there's the whole investment gone and we don't have anything to show for it. With ferries, even if one or two of them get totally destroyed, the majority of them are still in existence. We like to complain about the ferries but um, generally they run a tremendous service, you know. Safety, the, the people they've got working for them are generally very accommodating, very pleasant, seem to be fairly happy people. I would like to add that I'm not really complaining about BC Ferries. I've always found that their staff have been very friendly and helpful, uh, so I, um, that's one thing I'm grateful for. I hope the ferry service can continue pretty much as it has. Um, there's always room for improvement, but improvements cost money, <laughs> and money is not always at the disposal of the corporation. So um, I think, uh, I just hope that we continue to have good, reliable ferry service for years to come. And I say that as a resident, not an employee. <laughs> It'd be a heck of a place to get to if there was no ferries.
Is that off yet? Turn it off. I got something I want to tell you about the ferries. Bloody captain one day, you know, he was drunk up on the... Is that off? <laughs>